Another day, another story. In the total darkness of the depths of the Pacific Ocean, scientists have discovered oxygen being produced not by living organisms but by strange potato-shaped metallic lumps that give off almost as much electricity as AH batteries. It's one of the earliest things you learn in elementary school science class. Earth's life-sustaining oxygen is produced by plants and algae during photosynthesis using a combination of carbon dioxide and sunlight. But the recent discovery of what researchers call dark oxygen may upend conventional notions of how the critical element can be created and what that might mean for the origins of life. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. According to a study published in Nature Geoscience, Natural mineral deposits known as polymetallic nodules located at the bottom of the ocean appear capable of generating oxygen without any source of light. The surprise finding has many potential implications and could even require rethinking how life first began on Earth, the researchers behind a study said on Monday. It had been thought that only living things such as plants and algae were capable of producing oxygen via photosynthesis, which requires sunlight. But 4 kilometers 2.5 miles below the surface of the Pacific Ocean, where no sunlight can reach, small mineral deposits called polymetallic nodules have been recorded making so-called dark oxygen for the first time. The discovery was made in the clarion Clipperton Zone CCZ, an abyssal plain stretching between Hawaii and Mexico, where mining companies have plans to start harvesting the nodules. The lumpy nodules, often called batteries in a rock, are rich in metals such as cobalt, nickel, copper and manganese, which are all used in batteries, smartphones, wind turbines and solar panels. The international team of scientists sent a small vessel to the floor of the CCZ aiming to find out how mining could affect the strange and little understood animals living where no light can reach. We were trying to measure the rate of oxygen consumption by the seafloor, Lead study author Andrew Sweetman of the Scottish Association for Marine Science SAMS, told AFP. To do so, they used a contraption called a benthic chamber, which snatched up a bunch of sediment. Normally, the amount of oxygen trapped in the chamber decreases as it's used up by organisms as they respire, Sweetman said. But this time the opposite happened, the amount of oxygen increased. This was not supposed to happen in complete darkness where there is no photosynthesis. This was so shocking that the researchers initially thought their underwater sensors must have been on the blink. So they brought up some nodules to their ship to repeat the test. Once again, the amount of oxygen increased. Aerial view of a diamond mining vessel with a helipad at sea. Deep sea mining, why is interest growing and what are the risks? Read more. They then noticed how the nodules were carrying a startling electric charge. On the surface of the nodules, the team amazingly found voltages almost as high as are in an AA battery, Sweetman said. This charge could split seawater into hydrogen and oxygen in a process called seawater electrolysis, the researchers said. This chemical reaction occurs at about 1.5 volts, approximately the charge of an AA battery. Nicholas Owens, the SAMS director, said it was one of the most exciting findings in ocean science in recent times. The discovery of oxygen produced outside of photosynthesis requires us to rethink how the evolution of complex life on the planet might have originated, he said. The conventional view is that oxygen was first produced around 3 billion years ago by ancient microbes called cyanobacteria and there was a gradual development of complex life thereafter, Owens said. Sweetman said the team's discovery showed that life could have started elsewhere than on land. And, if the process is happening on our planet, could it be helping to generate oxygenated habitats on other ocean worlds such as Enceladus and Europa and providing the opportunity for life to exist, he said. The study, published in the journal Nature Geoscience, was partly funded by Canada's The Metals Company, which is aiming to start mining the nodules in the CCZ next year. Dark Oxygen in Pacific Depths, Rethinking the Origins of Life Recent discoveries in the abyssal depths of the Pacific Ocean have uncovered a phenomenon that could revolutionize our understanding of the origins of life on Earth. Researchers have detected dark oxygen in regions previously thought to be devoid of this crucial element. This discovery is prompting scientists to reconsider the environmental conditions that may have fostered the emergence of life billions of years ago. The Discovery 
In an ambitious expedition to explore the ocean's most remote areas, scientists from the Deep Ocean Research Institute deployed state-of-the-art submersibles and advanced sensing equipment. Their goal was to study the chemical composition and microbial life forms in the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean. To their astonishment, they found pockets of oxygen at depths where light cannot penetrate, and where conventional wisdom suggested oxygen should be scarce. Dark oxygen explained. The term, dark oxygen, refers to oxygen present in deep sea environments that are completely cut off from sunlight. Traditional sources of oceanic oxygen are photosynthetic organisms like phytoplankton, which produce oxygen through photosynthesis in sunlit surface waters. However, the discovery of oxygen in such dark, high-pressure environments suggests alternative, previously unknown mechanisms for oxygen production or preservation. Implications for the origins of life This finding has significant implications for our understanding of the conditions that could support life. The presence of oxygen in such extreme environments challenges the long-standing belief that early life on Earth developed in oxygen-poor settings. It suggests that oxygen, a molecule essential for complex life, might have been more prevalent in early Earth environments than previously thought. Potential Mechanisms Scientists are now investigating potential mechanisms that could explain the presence of dark oxygen. Hypotheses include Hydrothermal vent activity Hydrothermal vents, which spew mineral-rich water from beneath the Earth's crust, could play a role in oxygen generation. These vents might facilitate chemical reactions that produce oxygen without the need for sunlight. Geochemical processes Certain minerals and chemical reactions occurring deep within the Earth's crust might release oxygen into surrounding waters. Microbial life Unique forms of microbial life could be thriving in these dark environments, potentially engaging in chemosynthesis, a process similar to photosynthesis but powered by chemical reactions instead of sunlight. Rethinking Early Earth If oxygen was indeed more widespread in early Earth's oceans, it could mean that life had access to this vital resource much earlier than scientists have assumed. This could lead to a reassessment of the timeline for the development of complex life forms and the conditions that made such development possible. Future Research The discovery of dark oxygen opens up new avenues for research. Scientists plan to conduct further deep-sea expeditions to map the distribution of these oxygen pockets and understand their origins. Additionally, laboratory experiments simulating deep-sea conditions will help to unravel the biochemical and geochemical processes involved. Conclusion The revelation of dark oxygen in the Pacific depths is a profound reminder of how much remains unknown about our own planet. As researchers continue to explore these uncharted waters, they are likely to uncover more secrets that challenge our understanding of life's beginnings and the potential for life in extreme environments, both on Earth and beyond. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.